Okay, Minnie is, uh, this is her birthday present, but she wants to do it all by herself because she can do that. She can do work on her car and that's what she's gonna do. And what she's doing, she's changing out her speakers and uh, she's gonna give us a little lesson on how to change your speakers out in your own vehicle by yourself. And uh, if Minnie can do it, so can you. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Now are these speakers Brand new like speakers? custom aftermarket speakers or aftermarket these... speakers? Okay. Very inexpensive, but very good. Okay, let me ask you this. Uh, what? All right. So is this replacing your original speakers? Yes. Is that, okay, so I'm we're not replacing... really making speaker boxes and amplifiers. No, no. I'm just replacing the original speakers. My car's old. It's a '96. The okay. speakers in them are worn out. And what does the speakers look like that were in there? Do you have anything we can look at, or do you want to wait until you take the old one out? Well, here? you'll just come around this okay. way and you can see. Or look in there. Okay, so this speaker here is it basically on the windshield, right? Right, right. here. Right. It's okay. in my dash, and all you gotta do is pop up the cover. It's just real easy. Okay. Pop up cover. Right. Just pop it up. You're going to have to talk a little louder. The microphone's out here. Pop David. up cover. Just unpop it. And as you can see, it's really old. Look at that. So that speaker's worn out. Wore out. So what are you going to do to make it better? I'm going to switch it out. What kind of screwdriver are you using? I got a little bitty baby shorty. Okay. So is that what it takes to do this job? Well, you can't fit a long yeah. one in here. Now, how many screws are in that speaker holding In that? this particular one, I've only got one screw holding this in. All right, all right. And apparently it came from the factory that way, so. Okay. We'll just uh, not really worry about it. And now, just how would pull somebody pull your speaker out? Yeah. And okay, then... hold on. Now you can't use that. That that plug isn't going to work on that aftermarket speaker, is it? No, it isn't. Because as you can see, let me pull it out and I'll show you. Once you get this pulled out here. All right. Now, see this? Huh? That's a factory hookup. That's hook the factory hookup. And see that? Okay. Way different. That's the aftermarket Yeah, hookup. the plug okay. won't work. So, so what are, what are we going to do? We're going to cut the plug off and put a different end on it. All right, so how do you replace that end? I mean, what do you do here? Well, you cut the plug off. Uh-huh. With the uh, wire dikes. <laughs> yeah. That actually have sharp... Okay. That's not the wire dikes, but... Okay, what about no, that? What not. about that black plastic that's covering the wires? What do you do about that? Well, we're going Can you get a razor blade, please, Dylan, so she can cut that back? We're going to get rid of that. Well, you can't get rid of it. It's a wire cover. You'll have to get a razor blade over there in that drawer. The second one, middle box, Dylan, please. Lord. You're going to have to splice the black wire so you can get to those wires. Yeah. And don't cut your finger while you're doing it. I'll try not to. Okay, so you make a nice good splice right up the center. Now go down with it maybe. There you go. Keep going. There's your wires way down there. Way Pull up on them. Okay. Now you can remove the excess uh, wire cover if you want, just like Minnie's doing. Alright. Now, once your wires are uh, visible, what do you do next? Well, you got to strip a little Okay, bit. what kind of tool are you using it to strip it with? The wire, wire it's cutter It's a wire tour. stripper crimper tool. Yeah, all in one. Okay. I don't know what it's called. So how far would you strip that back approximately? About... About a half an inch? Yeah. Okay. So you find the right proper hole that it fits. Keep going up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One more. Oh. Right there. And yeah. that's not enough. Hang on, Dylan. We're going to get some more Bondo on in a second. There we go. It'll come off there. 
You're just cutting the wire, the cover off the wire, not the wire itself. Okay, so you're basically taking the insulation off the wire right. so you can uh, have a clear, free piece of wire to use your butt connector with. Yeah. Okay, then what do you do? All right, now you take your little red butt connectors. Okay, now you're using red ones on this? Why red? Yeah, because reds are the small ones. That's for the small wires. For the small wire. They are different colors for different gauges of okay. wires. Okay. And this, so, since these wires are real small, we're going to use the real small No, I just saw you twist the wire. Why did you do that? You want it to be all nice and neat so that it goes inside the butt connector clean. Push it in all the way. Then take now, your... Now, what part of that butt connector are you going to use? You, I mean, the uh, uh, wire crimpers. You're gonna, we're going to go ahead and use the one that has the little point right there. Because yeah. that's going to give it the best lock. And it smushes it in there. Okay. Now make sure that you crimp it down close enough. Uh, uh -oh. Well, you got to hold it on. There it is. You got to hold it on. Okay. And then crimp it down nice and tight. You're not in the groove there. You got to put it down in the groove. There you go. Now, you just messed up there. Okay, up a little. You're making me nervous. Okay, you got to go up a little higher. You didn't get the metal. You're going to cut your wire in half, up, right, there. All right, let's see. All right, there you go. Okay, so what Minnie's doing, she's taking the red butt connector, and after the wire is spliced, she goes ahead and twists the wire for a nice good connection. She puts the butt connector on there, takes the crimper tool, using uh, the very low part of the crimper tool that has the point, and there she goes, she crimps it tight together, and it should stay in place. There you go. this much wire we're only going to need a little bit so we're going to cut it so you're going to get okay can you show everybody the ends that you're cutting yeah. off so See, you're basically cutting about 12 inches down no eight inches not, yeah and you're keeping the ends that you need that with the uh, female connectors on right okay. right 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 all and right. then basically what do you and do then, repeat your process with the wires yeah and, we split the wire okay and then we um Strip a little Splits, bit of uh, and strip, strip and a little bit of the end off of it. We're going to bring those up here and stick them in here, and then we're going to crimp it down. Okay, what Minnie is doing now? She's repeating her process in reverse on the wire connect. There she goes. She's going to use the. Uh, bring it down. Bring it down a little more. Okay, go ahead, and then she will. Pull and then the wire will be cramped. Now what do we do? Now you just hook up your speaker and drop it in. Now does the speaker go back in the exact same way or is there a certain way that you have to put the speaker in to drop in there? Well, the in in this car, the, um, the connection, wires. the wire was on towards the middle. Okay. So that's how I'm putting it back in. Because that's the way it drops in there. Yeah. Right. And then it just actually just drops back in there real nice and easy. And voila, we're done. Oh, no, we're not done because the little clip, we got to have a little clip here with the screw. And they give you these in your kit with your speakers. Uh-huh. Oh, so you got to put one of those on there so the screw will So work. the screw will screw okay. down into okay. it. Now the little hole goes face up. No, the, it actually goes down. I mean. Face down. The little hole goes face down and the big hole is face up. It's a slide clip. Yeah. And clip. And be careful because okay. you'll knock it off and it'll fall down in there and then you'll... And then you got to really be careful with your wires that you don't break those parts. Exactly. Okay. Get those all down in there. And then once you put the screw in, can you get it back in there? Yeah. Okay, take it easy. There you go. It's a little tight. But okay, then once you get it on there, then what? Then find your screw hole and screw it in and you're done. And you're done. So if you're looking to change your speakers out, many of the Body Shop girl just showed you how to do it right. Now, okay, hold on, but we wait, well, hold on. We're at 17 minutes here, so like, can we just wrap it up with that and basically tell everybody, repeat your process on repeat the rear. Repeat the process on the rear ones. And it's what the happened? Same thing. Okay, because the you know, okay, hold on. What's that? The, this is the old cover. Okay, that popped off right off too. It just pops off. It's just an easy thing. Okay. It's so it? easy. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, it looks like you might have to pop that door panel off a little. Yeah, but it comes off real easy. Oh, yeah, okay. There's some clips in there. Just take your time, okay. pop it off easy so you don't break the clips because you don't want to break the clips or it's useless. All right. All right, take it easy and thank you very much, Minnie, the body shop girl. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.